That is a beach town outside of Chicago. Well, it's a suburb of Chicago, but in the summer, it really, really has many elements of a beach town. So many of the homes in East Wilmette, where I'm walking right now, are walking distance to multiple beaches, Dog Beach, Sailing Beach, Public Beach, um, many different beaches and opportunities to get in the water with boats, swimming, um, sailing lessons, you have a harbor club. I mean, it really hit me the other day that Wilmette is, feels like a beach town in the summer. Um, the restaurants in downtown Wilmette now have all windows that swing open, live music playing, great food, a lot of opportunities for fun, and just people are out enjoying themselves, and it really felt like a beach town. And um, You know, many different states, Michigan, California, wherever you have, and um, the home values here, of course, have skyrocketed over the last five years, like everywhere, but um, the homes closest to the lake are typically the most expensive, and the new construction homes are off the charts. They've gone up in value about a million dollars over the last five years, um, and there's one right here I'll show you. I'm walking by right here, this home behind me is a prime example of a home that is um, uh, prime for a developer and I'm um, going to be helping the people sell it most likely to a developer shortly. Um, many of the homes are uh, $3 million and the smaller homes that uh, typically would have sold for eight, nine hundred, a million dollars the most are now selling for $1.3 million. Uh, land for some of the bigger lots to knock down the homes are now a million dollars or more and the interesting thing going on in Wilmette is that people used to come to Wilmette many times when their children were getting to be close to school age like kindergarten and now I just sold a home for 2.5 million uh, down the street and the people are moving in with just a young child just one child which is very unusual compared to the past typically people were kind of hunkered down in the city but the city's gone through so many changes over the last five years that people are looking to get out earlier and get up where it's a little bit more quiet the, school, the schools are highly rated. There's no lottery system. You just get in great public schools right away. I have another couple, young uh, professional couple from the city coming up here. Um, they're closing in about a week and they are registering for school uh, right after the documents are signed. They're all ready to go. Um, and I have another client that came from out of town and they are, um, you know, they're from California and they're just joining groups, um, have their kids in summer camp um, from day one, making some friends, help, helping them meet some other clients that uh, have similar age kids, um, you know, just getting acclimated. But bottom line is they're huge water people, huge sailors. Uh, the husband just won a sailing race this past week which was kind of fun when he got here making all kinds of people just getting acclimated so once again water sailing uh you know is really a big part of living here in the summer so things change in the winter but let's not talk about that now it's it's too nice out so again kind of leaning in on the beach town thought of Wilmette Um, when you uh, go to downtown Wilmette, you can walk to the beach and the sailing boats within maybe 10 minutes. So one house that just sold a week or so ago is right behind me. It's a really, really 
small house very small house doesn't even have a garage and in this market it sold for I think it was 1.3 or more which is an insane price for a house that size with no garage I mean like off the charts price um, so um, that's just a demand level and I think as time moves on things are not going to change uh, very much in Wilmette uh, especially East Wilmette because of the lack of inventory there's just not many that many homes here in comparison to the demand so um, you know good time to buy is fall a little bit better less inventory but people usually willing to um, you know come down on price maybe a little bit more even though I wouldn't really bet on that a whole lot any time of year right now things are pretty darn good well Matt has some of the best facilities and programs in their park district in the summertime the great Gilson camp down at Gilson Beach is one of the favorites along with the pirate tennis camp which is awesome has tennis and all kinds of fun games kids love it uh, and it's just a great way for kids to make friends before the school year starts and make additional friends uh, just you know a lot of fun as well as the pool in addition to the beach <laughs> 